You're great. You're great. <laughs> You're great. This is the greatest interview I ever had in my life. Today we visited Lehman Center for the Performing Arts and sat with iconic legend, 10-time Grammy winner Eddie Palmeri to discuss the historic reunion of salsa legends after 40 years for the upcoming concert, Mi Dia Bonito. The Performing Arts concert goers will experience upgrades to the venue as this concert continues the completion of the first phase of renovations. A $15.4 million refurbishment of the center funded by the governor's office and the Bronx Borough President's office. It's expected to be completed by mid-2019. Known as one of the finest pianists for the past 60 years, Eddie Palmeri is a band leader, arranger, and composer of salsa and Latin jazz. I don't guess I'm going to excite you or the audience. I know it. I got that. I like that, huh? No, and, and you have every right to say so. <laughs> <laughs> I bow to that. Nearing the age of 82, Eddie Palmeri continues an active touring and recording schedule. He explains what motivates him and how he's able to remain so youthful. So he shared some health tips and mind tricks with us. Here's what he had to say. You have a birthday coming up? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my birthday. I'm going to be 32 years old. 32? <laughs> With half a, half, half a century of experience behind me. That's amazing. And the one who told me how to that was Chocolate Mentero. He told me that after 50, you got to start counting by one again. Obviously, that's what keeps you young. Uh, well, other things. Other things keep you young? Yeah, and eating less as you get older. Uh, eating what, what really fe feeds the cell. Because what we eat really doesn't do anything for the cells. I've been studying that for many 40 years, you know. Uh, watercress and parsley with pure garlic, you know, and, 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 and olive oil, which olive oil, virgin olive, virgin olive uh -huh. oil, uh, extra virgin, uh, is, is medicinal. He can't help himself. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> you about it. That's why I was chosen for the film. So, so, but olive oil. But this oil, is great advice. But olive oil is also. Uh, a vein cleanser, artery cleanser, capillaries, you know. It activates the gallbladder it, it, so it could get rid of the bile. That's what causes the stones. And the reason I'm so interested in that is because of my fear of doctors. Eddie Palmeri, a comedian at heart, joked throughout our entire interview. I know people that like, they, they get up and pissed off, you know, angry. Right. In the morning. Uh-huh. They get they're still angry in the afternoon. Right. Then by dinner time, you know, they even they're, they're still angry, and in between they get even more angry. Do you know how difficult that is to live that way? <laughs> you know, without any sense of humor and laughing, I love to laugh, man. Palmeri provided some insight regarding adversity throughout his music career, while sharing details behind his commitment to putting his children through college. I locked myself up in my home in Long Island for three years. I didn't come out. Interesting. Then I came out because they sold my contract to CBS with a half a million dollar deal. We did Lukumi Makumba Voodoo. They gave them 225000 They gave me 50000 uh, I was very unhappy about that. So I bought a Busendorfer and they paid for it, which is, was another, maybe almost another $100,000, whatever. You know. Then I felt more comfortable. Right, right, right. <laughs> uh, but the album didn't sell. Mm -hmm. That meant I go back to the same company again that I left. Right. So I locked up myself in my home for two more years. Interesting. And they went bankrupt. But we suffered dearly those five years without work, without anything. You know, you know I was black, I blacklisted, you know. Interesting. Yeah, and I had problems with the government because of the taxes at that time. Right. You know, they took me in front of a judge and he, they told me when he was looking, the judge said, I'm looking for half a million dollars. I said, oh. That half a million dollars was between Uncle Sam and my children's uh, college, school. Uncle Sam lost, Your Honor. Nice. And so you can get them the Freedom Act. It's there with the, the, the girl typing. They couldn't believe it. And how do you make a living? We reminisced about the young Lalo Rodriguez, who joined Palmeri's band at age 16 as the featured vocalist on Palmeri's first Grammy Award-winning album, Son of Latin Music. I met Lalo when he was 16 years old in Puerto Rico uh, because I went looking for a singer. In 1974, Ismael Quintana, he was a genius, this guy. So I took him there, and I told Lalo, canta lo que tú quieras cantar. 
you know. He's 16 years old. Y dice, bueno, esta, esta, esta es una composición que yo escribí cuando yo era más joven. I said, damn, you know. Cántala. And he starts to sing. I don't know if you ever heard that album of the Southern Latin music, but he sang me the ballad that's on there. It's called Deseo Salvaje, Savage Love at 16 years old. I said, when did you write this, when you were 12? That's how it started. And when it came out, it won the first Grammy because they've been put us in category for 17 years. And then we won the first Grammy with that. We won another Grammy in the next year. Turning the pages upside down, the master pianist Eddie Panmeri will continue to perform classic Saisa, this time with an opening act tribute to his brother, the late Charlie Padmeri. You are going to be performing here on Saturday. Right, here, Saturday, right? It's we're gonna, here. Right, it's uh, Eddie Palmeri and Lalo Rodriguez, and that's going to be Mi Dia Bonito. bonito. We're going to open up with the competition called Un, Un Dia Bonito. Un Dia Bonito, yeah. and that's happening at Lima Center for the Performing Arts. Uh, the phone number for tickets is 718-960-8833, and that's 8 p.m. Don't miss it. Why? Because it'll be great. It's going to be great. Of course yeah, it's going to be I, great. And I, and I don't guess I'm going to excite you with my music. I know it. For BronxNet, I'm Rena Valentin.